Hello everyone, my name is Evergreen, and welcome back to Cold Waters. Today we're, oh, well, I did kind of start like series in the past where I did the Ticonderoga class. Uh, my goodness, this loud. One second, I need to change, turn down the audio. Turn it down to half. Crew and volume will be maxed. Accept. All right. Cool. Uh, I don't. I don't like it that it doesn't have any music. So. Maybe that works. It's still really quiet. Eh. No, that works. Fuck it. All right, so today we're going to be doing a North Atlantic 1984 campaign. No mods, because we were using the dot mod uh, last time. We're going to be using a, uh, we're going to be doing a just straight up normal campaign of this game, which has been done many times, but I want to do one on my channel, and I actually wanted to complete it. So let's read the first one, which is North Atlantic 1984. As tensions build along the Iron Curtain, Warsaw Pact forces, which is allied nations to the Soviet Union at the time, launch a devastating surprise attack across the feudal gap. Central Europe is plunged into war and NATO struggles, uh, nations struggle to push back. Resupply convoys from the United States are crucial to the war effort and must be defended. NATO naval operations assign you to the Norwegian Sea and the North Atlantic in an attempt to contain or to maintain control of the situation at sea. This is a difficulty of normal. Let's start it. Uh, we are going to be Commander Evergreen, of course. Start. All right, we have a variety of boats that we can pick from. Um, we have, of course, the Los Angeles class attack nuclear submarine. Um, we have the Narwhal, which I think, which one's quieter? I always forget. Uh, number of wires, four. Um... Where is the... I'm trying to read this. Does it state whether... No, I think that's just in the dot mod. If I think about it properly. Um, anyway. We are going to be using the Los Angeles class nuclear attack submarine. Let's look it over. We have no defensive weapons. We are currently 6,927 tons. We are 110 meters in length and 10 meters in width. Our, we can go 33 knots uh, uh, fastest speed. Our crew is 129 sailors, both officers and enlisted. Our test depth, which means this is the depth that uh, we recorded that says we can go, but I'm sure in real life this is a much deeper number. We have four wires, meaning we can control a total of four torpedoes total before they become dumb guided. Of course, we have Mark 48 torpedoes. We have Moss decoys. We have which uh, I'll explain. I'll explain all these weapons later. But we have the UA, uh, UGM 84 missiles. We have TASM missiles and TLAM missiles. This is our sensors. Basically, we have a search radar, for, uh, which is a uh, t one of the telescopes, I should say. We have ESM, which is another uh, scope out of the conning tower, uh, which is mass mounted. We have a, uh, sorry, we have a mass mounted AN slash BQQ5 active and passive sonar, which is the head at the front of the boat, uh, uh, which also has low, uh, so it has active, passive, low, low frequencies, and hull mounted uh, with sonars. We also have the hull mounted. Uh, TB-16 passive sonar, which is, I think, this little thing up here along with other sensors all over the boat, which is both low and low frequencies, and we have a tow array, which, let's see if we can see it. Back here. Here is the little thing that will, basically, what it is, is a bunch of hydrophones, basically kind of like sensors, that it, the, uh, the submarine or ship will reel out and it will sit behind the submarine and it will record all passive uh, sound data. Anyway, let's read the notes. In service since 1976, this class was the first to be designed from the outset of, with a towed array and the first to return to the 30 plus knot speed of the skipjacks. 
Originally served to screen carrier groups against Soviet submarines, they combine high speed with excellent digital sonar and fire control, and the most advanced quieting uh, technology available. With the addition of Harpoon and Tomahawk missiles, these boats, uh, these boats are as capable against enemy shipping as they are against submarines. Their only drawback is their large size that makes them very expensive and less maneuverable and deep diving than earlier sturgeons. From Com uh, Subland for basically uh, Atlantic Command uh, for Commander Evergreen. Uh, new command assignment. Effective immediately, you are to hereby assign command of the Los Angeles class submarine U.S. Houston SSN seven one three. Oh, I should have been eight one three. That'd been cooler. But oh well, close enough. Uh, congratulations and good luck. Good luck with your new command, Roger Command. What Reaganism mean? Uh, what will Reaganism mean for us in foreign relations? Reaganism, just to, for those that don't know was basically a very hard policy against uh, communist nations and any nation that would be friendly or supportive of any Soviet-owned uh, state or the Soviets. He was very tough on those uh, politically, economically, and militarily. Foreign relations. New president-elect uh, Ronald Reagan was uh, has begun his term in office by taking a harsh stance against Soviet Union. The former Californian governor, once a Democrat, is reputed for his anti-communist stance and for rooting out communist sympathizers in Hollywood in the 1950s. The new U.S. president is regarded with suspicion in the Kremlin. Polit uh, Politburo sources claim that the President Reagan is regarded as somewhat of a cowboy whose presidency risks spurring controversy and conflict instead of a continuation of the more detente-oriented de uh, de policies of Jim Jimmy Carter. Uh, Brezna uh, Brezhnev's legacy, stagnation and paranoia. Analysis. The death of General Secretary Leonid Brezhnev is sure to result in considerable debate behind the Kremlin walls. The last decade has been one of stagnation and increased bureaucra uh, bureaucratization of the Soviet colossus. An unnamed diplomatic source was quoted in the recent Time article stating, so the New York Times, I think, uh, stated or stating that the consistent Provocations from Reagan administration have created an elevated and permanently anxiety concerning American aggression within the Pluribo, which I think is the uh, the Warsaw Pact and Soviet uh, governments. President Reagan should think, th think this over. It is dangerous. Uh, provoking the bear is Reagan pushing too hard. Opinion. With the recent announcement of the Strategic Defense Initiative, SID, or SDI, several independent political and security analysts have ex are expressing a growing concern that Reagan administration may be pressing the Soviets too hard. Tensions between the Soviet Union and the U.S. are continually increasing. The increased U.S. military spending, followed by Re uh, President Reagan's denunciation of the Soviet Union as an evil empire raises a question of just how the Kremlin will react. The Soviets down a civilian airliner. International outrage as the Soviet Air Force shoots down a Korean Airlines aircraft over the Sakhalin uh, Islands. All 269 passengers and crew aboard were killed. The Polaribo issued a statement claiming that the flight, the uh, Cal-007, was on a spy mission on behalf of the United States. We regard this as a deliberate provocation to test our military preparedness or even an attempt to provoke war, the Soviet uh, Minister of Defense said. Tensions between Washington and Moscow are now elevated to a degree not seen since the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962. Overall, military readiness is heightened as NATO exercises in the Pacific and Atlantic are denounced by the Soviet Union as de a deliberate imperialist provocation. Pershing missiles deployed in the West, which are I uh, IBCMs and cruise missiles. Bon BRD deployment of new Pershing II bl nuclear ballistic missiles have commenced in locations around West Germany. The introduction of this upgraded medium-range tactical nuclear missile in the United States arsenal ha has already been the cause of considerable controversy between NATO and the Warsaw Pact, as well as within Germany itself. 
Independent political analysis agree that the continuous escalation of the arms race, each side fears the other side's technical superiority, and strong anti-Soviet rhetoric of Reagan administration all adds up to a volatile situation. Moscow's latest threat to withdraw any further arms control negotiations is seen as a particularly disturbing turn of events. The question looming over Europe is how the Soviet Union might react. Should it consider its diplomatic options to be exhausted? Soviets thought nu nuclear drill Able Archer was real. Washington. In a congressional hearing today, the Director of Defense Intelligence Agency, the DIA, Lieutenant General James B. Williamson, told the Senate that the DIA's assessment of the Soviets' response to Na NATO's Able Archer 83 exercise, which was held last November, General Wilson, uh, Williamson told a story that was a little too close for comfort. The DIA's has concluded that the Soviet Union for a short while actually believed the United States was preparing for a first strike nuclear attack using the exercise as a cover. The Soviet strategic, nu uh, strategic nuclear force was placed on high alert for at a, least a week. The strong reaction collaborates the strained diplomatic uh, relations between the U.S. and the Soviet Union, years of terse anti-communist rhetoric, deployment of advanced nuclear weapons, and the outspoken idealistic friendship between President Reagan and the British Prime Minister Thatcher is said to have caused considerable fear among the Soviet leadership. Now, of course, here is where history changed. The Soviet Union came down, I think, in 84, or was it 89? I forget, but basically uh, the Soviet Union uh, and the US uh, became more friendly and they started to become more free as the president started to release Soviet pact states and eventually the Soviet Union fell apart as the, uh, the Iron Curtain or the Wall of Berlin came down. Uh, Soviets attack, war declared. This is the alternate history of this game though. Soviet infantry and armored units supported by strike aircraft have today stormed through the feudal gap region of West Germany, penetrating the inner German border in a surprise attack. Initial negotiations attempt rapidly broke down and a state of war has officially been declared between NATO countries and the Soviet Union. NATO losses are reportedly high. In the United States, military forces have been fully mobilized and convoys loaded with men, materials, and arms have already begun to cross the Atlantic. President Reagan addressed the nation, stating the full might of the United States Army, Marines, Air Force, and Navy will be brought to bear on this unprovoked attack. Huh, <laughs> unprovoked, my ass. You've been po poking the bear, and this is its response. Which could be technically talked about today in the Ukraine and Russia conflict, but that's a discussion for another time. Anyway, on the 8th of December, 1984, at 1800, so 6 o'clock, 6 p.m., I should say, Intelligence has discerned a pattern of movements of enemy at sea replenishment tankers and tenders, basically fuel and armed ships. A small enemy force, including one or two of these ships, expected to sail from Murmansk shortly, Murmansk shortly for a rendezvous somewhere in the Norwegian Sea. You are ordered to find and sink this group. You may also get a chance at enemy warships this group intends to support. But tenders and tankers are the mission target. Very well. Let's remember repair. No tasms. Good, 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 good. All right. I like what we have. Let's cast off and away anchor. Let's move. Here's our, by the way, here is our base, Holy Lock, in Scotland. Here's our boat. The Norwegian Sea. I'm going to sit right on top of it and wait for them to come across the border and then engage. It's now 12 in the afternoon on the 9th as we've gotten to our position. And now, we wait. This is them. Well, we seem to have missed them, but I'm going to uh, sit in front of them and engage. All right, we got within. Well, let's do this. So, Exo, I want at least one Moss loaded, and we're going to have one Harpoon loaded, but of course we have two Torpedoes. And have them uh, go for the surface. Alright, let's do it. Uh, let's close to 2000 uh, KYD. All hands men battle stations. General quarters, general quarters. On sonar, new contact bearing. One. Five, six, designated C. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Ship rig for ultra quiet. Con sonar, new contact bearing. One, 
Five, six, designated Sierra, two. Uh, dive command. Con, sonar, new contact, bear. Make depth four, five feet, dive by. Rise the ship to periscope depth. All right, cool. We have a immediate duct and moderate layer at 174 feet, so we will probably chill there and take our shots. It's also within perfect long range, so they will have a tough time launching on us. We're also at five knots and slowly and quietly ascending to periscope depth to get a nice, pretty look at these ships. Let's increase time, depth. Cool, we are now at periscope depth. Up scope. Up scope, periscope. Up east. Raise the radar mast. That's radar. Raise the ESM mast. ESM mast up. There you are. There Con, you are. Con, dive at four, five feet, dive by. Anybody else? This is bearing 080. Should be right here. Oh, there you are. Little fishing boat. Con sonar. Master 3 is classified as merchant. Alright, down. Lower the ESM mast. Lower ESM down scope. mast and lower periscope. We have our targets in sight. So this is the Grisha 3 Corvette. It has anti-submarine rockets as you can clearly see here. I believe later models have a turret right here. They also have four torpedo tubes, and they have one uh, dual, I think, 57 automatic firing uh, launchers. They also have their C the Russian Sea Wiz here. I think that's about it. I think that's their weapon capabilities. This is a small little Corvette meant for hunting submarines. Of course, we have the Dubana. Uh, this looks like a tanker ship. Yeah, it's definitely a tanker ship. Here. Meant to reply warships and submarines. We are going to sink both. I'm going to fire a torpedo at the Grisha and then we're going to hit the Dubana with a missile. So we're going to have this run on unactive uh, sonar. We're going to launch, fire, actually, hold. Helm, come right to 095. Come left to 095. Helm, I. Back to the boat. All right, dive command. Descend back to 150 meters. Make depth one five zero feet. Dive by. Oh, they detected us. Con dive at one five zero feet. Dive by. Launch on the Grisha. Fire tube one. Shoot tube one. Aye, sir. Torpedoes away. Active and running hot. Oop, there they are. Well, that's right above us. Oh, shit. Don't think he hears the torpedo yet. Con, fire control. Weapon acquired. Weapon has acquired. Rising to surface. Active sonar has been activated. Oh, Grisha sees the torpedo. They're turning hard. Nah, it's too late, buddy. I got you just where I want you. Alright. Uh, weapons officer, guide torpedo. Let's lead the target. Oh, that is camera. Activate. There we go. Get right midship. Con, it's sonar lost position. contact. Master, one. Last bearing, one. Six, three. Contact breaking up. And she was hit towards the bow, actually. Oh, there she goes. Going down fast. Reload, two, one. She's turning hard, watching her escort just get blown up. Reload tube one, release from ultra quiet. Do we got a missile? We do. Fire tube three, launch. Shoot tube three, aye sir. Right away. Here is the UGM-84, or harpoon missile. Booster's gone, it's now got its uh, jet engine started as it's cruising towards target. Missile is homing. Uh, it's uh, gone into a reverse uh, search pattern, uh, swinging around as it's uh, intended to avoid anti-aircraft fire. 
Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Very well, load harpoon. It's coming in. Good guidance. Impact. Con, sonar lost contact. Master, two, last bearing, one, six, six, contact breaking up. And that should be all contacts. Mission complete. Leave combat. Grisha and the Dubona were sunk using one torpedo and one harpoon. Glad to hear you intercepted and destroyed the enemy replenishment resources. Keep up the good work. Further orders to be transmitted on this downlink. Further orders to be trans... Oh, oh, wait. That's weird. All right. Quiet seas. NATO warships and submarines have taken up several new strategic positions, including some around the Na uh, Norwegian Sea, in response to the significant reduced Soviet naval activity. Sources close to the Pentagon say the war is taking a heavy toll on enemy naval operations. I sank two boats. And that their supply lines continue to be heavily strained. That's not true. Um, recent NATO gains at sea have decreased numbers of warships needed to maintain control in several regions. Many vessels from these regions have, been rapid, have rapidly been reassigned to escort duties to better protect convoys carrying much-needed arms, armor, and men from the United States to the United Kingdom. Tactical situation and intelligence estimates indicate the enemy special uh, uh, enemy Spetsnaz commandos will land from a submarine in the vicinity of Spitzenberg, uh, Spitz, Spitzberg, uh, Bergen within the next week. You are ordered to intercept and eliminate them before they land. Uh, we will need torpedoes, so let's load all torpedoes. All right, let's get after it. Spitzenberg, that's not good. Let's stay out of uh, range of enemy uh, aircraft that launch from Arnschlesk. All right, we're gonna sit nice and comfy here and wait. We shall see. Enemy submarines launch in the next week or so. Who? Global event, West Germany falls, oh no. Uh, Soviet invading forces after a devastating campaign are in total control of West Germany. Government is dissolved and the administration has been handed over to occupying forces. In a national broadcast, West German government ordered the country's armed forces to cease fire to avoid further casualties. The past week, successes and drawbacks in military operations seem to have been experienced equally on both sides. Dominance in the Atlantic still hangs in the balance as both sides have suffered losses during the last few days. That's so. Oh, here's our contact. Uh, let's close within 1,500 yards. All torpedoes loaded. Both have you set for active. You set for passive sonar. All right, all hands man battle stations. Passing 100 feet. Oh shit. Holy fuck, Con I have sonar. No we are cavitating. Uh, Make turns for five. Con sonar. No longer cavitating. Oh, fuck. Rig ship for ultra quiet. That's not good. I just gave away my position like a freaking idiot. Make depth five. Zero feet. Die by. Con maneuvering. Making turns for five knots. Make depth Actually, four make the... five feet dive yeah. by. Con dive at four five feet dive by. All right, sending up the ESM mast. Ooh, there is an actual detectable presence. Raise the radar mast. Raising radar mast. We're gonna see what's out there. Nada. Okay. Down below. Lower the radar mast. Make depth feet. one zero zero feet. Dive by. Con dive at one zero zero feet. Dive by. Let's corkscrew turn. Con sonar new contact bearing zero six eight designated Sierra one. There you are. 
Come left to zero six eight helm I. Let's get back on course. Find this target. Sounds like a noisy submarine. Con helm steady course. This is gonna have to be perfect. All right, let's classify this contact. That's not gonna happen. Um, let's see if we can get the original bandwidth started. Possible Charlie. Oh, that's the first two lines. See how she looks as we get better contact on her. Seventy-one decibels is quiet as all hell. Have decrease. Come left to zero zero nine helm I. Why did the sonar solution decrease? Con helm steady course. A whiskey class submarine. Cruising on uh, what's her? Uh, she's at five knots. Don't you know this coming? All right, ready tube three. Fire, tube three. Con, fire control, we've lost the wire. Wire's been lost, reload tube. Lo reload? No, screw that. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Con, sonar, launch transit Shit, from been, Sierra, launched. one. Come right, right to zero, eight, six, helm I. Come left to three, zero, nine, helm I. Get away that torpedo. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Shoot two one. Aye, sir. Shooting second torpedo. Long bearing. Con helm. Steady course. Ooh, alright. Disconnect the weapon, we wasted that torpedo. Reload both tubes. That should be the Spetsnaz commandos. Right in the midship. That was scary. Just had a torpedo shot at us. Set 65, I think. Ooh, that went right behind us. I don't like shallow water uh, missions because there's zero room to maneuver. You just have to pray to God that you can outrun whatever the hell's shooting at you. Oh, Christ. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Torpedo room, tube three ready. Where are the ice right now? Coming for the wreck. Explosion. Weapons are nearby. The torpedo is sitting nice and comfy behind us. Screw it. Come right to zero. No one's near. Gonna Make be con right. sonar. We are cavitating. Here we go. Leave combat. Whiskey was sank. Awesome. Excellent performance locating and eliminating enemy submarines, transporting uh, Spetsnaz Commandos. New orders will be transmitted on this downlink. Another world event. Red sub sunk. The Pentagon today revealed that several Soviet submarines attempted an incursion near Spitzenberg. Uh, Spitzenberg. Why is the game weird like this? Has been destroyed or driven off by coordinated efforts of NATO surface vessels, submarines, and aircraft. The continued cooperation of NATO members was cited as pivotal to the successful outcome of this operation. Ongoing protection of many uh, NATO allied military installations throughout the theater remains high priority. Uh, high, remains a high priority. NATO's ability to maintain control of the region is founded on these bases. Here's the next mission. Intelligence discerning a pattern of movement of enemy at sea replenishment tankers and tenders. A small enemy force, including one or two of these ships, expected to sail from Iran shortly for a rendezvous near the Soviet coast. You are to find and sink this group before it completes replenishment of enemy forces. You may also get a chance at enemy submarines this group is intended to support, but the tenders and tankers are the mission target. Roger, command. This war starting on the, on the 8th of December, it is now four days later, and we've completed two missions with success, preventing Spetsnaz commandos and destroying enemy at sea tankers.
Uh, status report, all weapons are good. Continue on course. We're going to pause. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be all for today. Uh, if you did like, please, uh, if you did like this video and enjoy yourself, please do like, comment, and subscribe as it really does help out the channel. We'll be continuing the series on as we played through this 1984 campaign as the Los Angeles class submarine. Let's see what else the future has for us in terms of enemy combatants. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!